come check out and help me unbox my new One Join commercial blender. So here we have the soundproof little cover. We have the two liter cup. Then we have the actual blending machine and it also comes with a super handy user manual as well so that you know exactly how to use it and put it together. With my previous blender, it was super loud and difficult to clean. But that's why I love this one join blender because it has that soundproof shield as well as being super easy and convenient to clean. This high quality blender is perfect for making single servings or you can have enough for multiple people. This cup holds 80 ounces so you truly can make smoothies for everyone. Personally, I could see this being used for slushies, smoothies, as well as just crushing ice sauces, and even salsa. Personally, I could see this being used to make smoothies, slushies, some adult beverages, also sauces and marinades, things like that would be perfect to go in the blender. I love to make smoothies in the morning, so the fact that I can do it quietly is going to be amazing so that I don't wake up the other members of my family. It also prevents splatter as well too, so you keep your kitchen clean no matter what happens. This blender is a great at-home blender, but it also could be used either at a bar, cafe, coffee shop, hotel, even at a restaurant. This high quality blender has powerful blades as well as a 2200 watt motor. There are eight speed controls as well as four preset options to make blending easier. As you can see over here, there is an option to crush ice, an option to clean, an option to juice, and an option for smoothies. Down here, you can also adjust the speed, the time, pulse it, and then obviously the start button. My favorite part of this blender, other than the sound guard, has to be how easy it is to clean. It's actually dishwasher safe. So after you make a smoothie, don't you want to enjoy it? Forget about hand washing, just throw it in the dishwasher and you can go enjoy yourself. Now I'm going to show you three different ways how I'm going to use my One Join commercial blender. First things first, it wouldn't be right if I didn't show off my favorite smoothie recipe. So all I'm going to do is put the ingredients in here. I'm going to use orange juice as the base. Then I'm going to add in some blueberries. A nice banana. And then I'm going to add some pineapple. Ice. Now I'm just gonna grab some ice. And now I'm just gonna add some ice. I'm gonna grab the lid. Now you're gonna make sure this is locked in so it doesn't come out while you're going. All you need to do is insert it and make sure you twist it a little bit so that it's locked in place. Now I'm just going to lift the sound guard. As you can hear, it beeps so that it is in there. Just going to press the power button, smoothie mode, and then the start button.
and now it is all ready to drink. Now all you have to do is unlock the lid like this. Take off this lid. And then just enjoy your drink. Then just throw this in the dishwasher and you are ready to go. Now I'm going to show you how I make one of my family's favorite drinks. It's called a strawberry watermelon slush. First, you're going to unlock the lid, pull this up. Now we are going to put all of our ingredients in. So we have lemon juice. We have some sugar. And we are obviously gonna add some watermelon, but we also wanna add some strawberries too. Personally, I like buying the pre-cut so that I save a little bit of time. Add all that in there, and then I'm gonna add the strawberries. A lot of people don't add the strawberries, but personally, I think it adds a nice little flavor. And then what we are gonna do is we are gonna blend all these ingredients in first before adding in the ice. So then we just put on our lid, then the little lock on the top, make sure these little points are in and then turned to keep it nice so that you could literally lift it by here and it won't come off, which is super nice. Then I'm just gonna put this. this down. So then what we are going to do is we're going to put the power button on and then right now we're turning this into a nice juice. So I'm going to hit juice mode. Then start button. blender another feature about this one join commercial blender that I love is the fact that when you select a mode it picks the amount of time that you need to give it that optimum feeling so this juice we want it really really finely you know all blended together so it gives us the optimal time so that it is perfectly done we don't even have to guesstimate how long it needs to be in there one join blender does all the hard work for you so then we are just gonna take this out Unlock our lid, pull off the top. Then we are gonna add our ice cubes. So that'll give it that slushy kind of feel. Put the lock and lid back on. Then we are all set. So let's put that in here. Close the shield. And then for this one, what we are gonna do is put on the power mode. Then I think the best thing would just be ice crush. And then the start button. And as you can see here, it's only gonna take eight seconds. Just like that. So personally, you could always add a little bit more ice. I like it on the thinner side. Let me just grab a cup here. And it's really as simple as that. Now I'm gonna show you that this one join commercial blender is perfect for making way more than just drinks. Come along and help me make some hummus. First things first, let's add half of a cup of tahini. I promise it tastes a lot better than this looks right now. Then we are gonna add that to our one join blender. Then 
what we are gonna do is we are gonna juice two lemons. We're just gonna juice them directly into the blender. Get all that juice out. Personally, I love hummus and I'm super excited that I'm gonna be able to make this on my own now. I've always wanted to try, but I never had a really high quality blender that I thought would do a great job to get that super nice consistency that really good hummus has. So just finishing up these lemons. Then we're gonna add the chickpeas. Now with the chickpeas, we are gonna have to strain them first because we're gonna use some of that juice later, just not all of it. So let's take our beans. Obviously we're using chickpeas. Now we're just going to empty the juice into this cup and save it for later. If you want your hummus to be a little more wet and a little less creamy, you're always able to add more of this juice that will give you that more liquidy consistency, but it's all depending on what you really want. Then we just open this can up. and put all of our chickpeas inside. I am really hoping that I can master this recipe because my family is hummus obsessed. And I think that even is an understatement of just how much they love hummus. So again, we are straining the liquid from the chickpeas. Now for the basic recipe itself, we still do add some of that liquid. So that's what I'm leaving inside here. So when you see me pour this into the blender, there will be some liquid, but that is intentional. Next up, we are gonna add two cloves of garlic. Then we are going to add a quarter cup of olive oil. We're also going to use olive oil as a topping for our hummus, which is going to also give it a really nice little decoration as well as keep it really smooth. Then we're going to add a little more of the juice from inside the chickpeas, just a little bit. Next, we're gonna add half of a teaspoon of salt. And then we are going to add one teaspoon of cumin. We are also gonna drizzle this on as well as a garnish on top. I love how this smells. And then we are all ready to put it in our one join blender and let's see how smooth we can get this hummus. So again, we are going to put the lid on, then we are going to lock this little top piece in. So put it in and then turn so that you can lift it up and nothing's gonna happen. Now let's put it in the blender and let's see how good our hummus is gonna turn out. can hear it beep so that it's ready for us. We're gonna put the soundproof shield on top. We are gonna turn it on, power on. Now let's see, what do we wanna do? We want to put it on probably more of like a smoothie and then start. <laughs> This is so 
such a fast and easy recipe thanks to the one join commercial blender. Let's see how our hummus turned out. Look at how rich and creamy this is coming out. It is so nice. I am loving this. Now what we are gonna do is we are gonna garnish on top a little bit of the olive oil. Just a drizzle. And then we are also gonna grab a little bit more of the fumin. And again, just sprinkle it on top. So we'll just grab a little bit and just sprinkle it all over the top. And just like that, you have hummus in a little over five minutes. Look how delicious this came out and I'm so excited to try it. Let's see how it came out. It came out great and I'm so surprised that I was able to make this in a blender.